Remember the good old days? Meeting up at your friend's house, filling up on way too many fizzy drinks and snacks. You'd get settled up in the basement just as their mom would come down with a tray of scolding hot pizza pockets. Then, you turn the lights down low and break out the 1989 classic Hero Quest. Pushing miniatures, battling monsters, and casting magic spells. I'll use my throat so. Now, over 30 years later, a classic has been reborn, and we were lucky enough to get our hands on a copy. Have you ever seen someone this happy before? Come with us as we revisit the days of yore, but first, it's time to get some paint on these minis. Thomas? Can I see it? No. What's that? Mm. Now I want to see it. Uh, Amy, mm. yeah. can we paint these? If you can make it awesome, they look pretty cool. We could. We can make yeah. it really awesome and put it on YouTube. Well, use speed paint. paint. This is perfect for speed paint. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah. That's a blast from the past. Well, if you make it freaking awesome, I will allow it then. <laughs> <laughs> we promise, we promise. You I can wanna join, join too. <laughs> <laughs> I always have some boring stuff. I'll go set up for it. Cool. Hero Quest. Yeah. Yeah. I'll send it so primed the miniatures with black and white. So just to exaggerate the, the effect of the speed paints a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that works well on these miniatures. The beautiful miniatures. Yeah, they look really the, nice. Yeah, absolutely. It's slightly, <laughs> slightly more detailed the, than the old ones. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking that we start with the, with the miniatures because yeah. we need more colors on the miniatures and we need, we need time for drying before we can yeah. apply the next layer. I would, I would like to do the fish people. Yep. Because I like fish people. I uh, figured. <laughs> maybe they'll be turquoise. <laughs> you pick the fish people, I want the barbarian. Then I'll take the dwarf, he's the other macho character, and then you can pick one of these. I'll take the mage. Okay. We'll see how much time we spend. Yeah. It would be really nice to have it done today. Absolutely, yeah. I think that's possible. If you think about how much you unboated last time in five hours. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. Good luck! So, for these new fish monsters that have replaced the premiere from the old game, I went for the sand golem for the spear to give it a kind of bronzy look and to contrast well with the plasmatic bolt for the turquoise skin color. And here I'm going straight over the Cenethal Prime and I have lots of paint on my brush, just trying to stay within the lines. It's like a 3D coloring book. Just one coat and it's done. I remember the last time I played this, it was with a couple of friends. And in the rules, it doesn't state that you can't attack your, your teammates. That's true, yeah. Yeah, so obviously one of my <laughs> friends killed me on, on the way out of the dungeon, <laughs> took the loot and, and that was supposed to be it. I thought that a greyish white would represent fish bones better, so I went with the holy white instead of pellet bone for spines, teeth, claws. And again, because you know teal and orange colors contrast so nicely, I picked the cellar yellow for the eyes. The rest of the scaly plates and head structures were done with magic blue, just really to hit home on the ocean theme. There are actually there are quite a few uh, funny translation mistakes in the Danish version. There is? Yeah, I think my favorite one is the dwarf is allowed to move traps, not remove them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, and, but it doesn't, it doesn't say anything about, like, what are the rules for moving traps? No. It just, it, you can move them. <laughs> so that could so always confused, confused. Yeah, yeah. always confused as like, how are you supposed to use that rule? Yeah. 
And the last touch is adding some purple alchemy to the sea critters here that are stuck to his shoulders and as well as his gums. And there we go, a nice fish monster for your dungeon. Uh, woo! I'm done. Yeah, me too. Um, at least with the speed paint part. It's easy to see who's uh, the experienced painter. <laughs> <laughs> As you've done yeah. more than twice <laughs> what I did at the same time. Practice makes... Fast. Fast. <laughs> makes speed painter. <laughs> we just need to... Yeah, the, the basis. basis as well. Yeah. Awesome. Cue the time lapse. Yeah, do it. Well done. Um, that's all the bases black. So you could actually stop here, I guess. Yeah. If you, you wanted could. to, all the bases are black. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and I'm really conflicted about painting them or doing some more to them, to be honest, because I really like them black as well. What we definitely want to do is give them a coat of varnish, um, yes. because it's gaming miniatures, and you know. Speed paint could use some some extra protection. Now. Yeah, it rubs off easier than, yeah, than uh, normal, normal regular acrylics. paint. Yeah. Um, so that's always a good idea to do. Mm. They're more like board game pieces. Yeah. Like yeah. like this, I think. Yeah. Um, and putting basing materials on is a bit more war gamey. We can put them on the board and see how they look. Yeah, let's uh, do that. In about the time it took for Mom's Pizza Pockets to bake, we were finished, thanks to Speed Paint.